Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, simplifying algebraic expressions still. So we're still in Chapter 3, Section 1 of your textbook. In fact, we're on uh, page, starting on page 135 today. I would like you to copy, and listen carefully, I would like you to copy this warm-up and do these four examples in your spiral now. Pause the video, get some answers, and you're going to check back with me in just a moment. So put the video on pause. Now I'm going to go over these with you. Hopefully, number one, because we practiced this in class today, you got 3 and 7 tenths C. And in number two, 1R plus 15 hundredths R, you get 1 and 15 hundredths R. And number three, 6 tenths M and 5 tenths M and 1 and 3 tenths M, lining up your decimal points carefully, you got 2 and 4 tenths M. Number four, two tenths F and one and five tenths F plus seven. That's not a like term like the other one. So that stays out separately. And you got one and seven tenths F plus seven. Put a star next to any of these if you did not get the same answers that I have here. And make sure that uh, you go over this with me in class tomorrow or ask me a question. So we're going to go on. On page 136, you can see in your textbook that they're going to do this using bar models. We don't have to do bar models, but this might be a good picture way for you to see this, to believe that an M plus 2 thirds M does equal 5 thirds M. So remember in this, um, this gentleman's telling us here in the picture that he says, recall that M is the same thing as 1M. And you can write that 1m as 3 thirds. Why 3 thirds? Because my other denominator of my like term is thirds. So 3 thirds m plus 2 thirds m. And you can see the solution is worked out here using a bar model. So my 3 thirds, which are in the darker orange, 1 third, 1 third, and 1 third, gives me 3 thirds m plus my two-thirds in the lighter orange adds together to give me five-thirds M. Notice this math note here, very important. In algebraic expressions, fractional, fractional coefficients, it's talking about this five-thirds, that are greater than one, because we know that that's the mixed number one and two-thirds, are left as improper fractions. So we're going to leave that five-thirds M. In example B here, 1 fourth y plus 1 sixth y. Now I have like terms, y to the first power and y to the first power, but I don't have like fractions. Those are not common denominators, fourths and sixths. So you have to make them into their equivalent fraction. Their least common denominator is 12 fourths and sixths. So they're dividing the bar, as you can see in this model here, they're dividing this bar, which they're calling y, into twelfths, because the common denominator of fourths and sixths is twelfths. And you can see that, yes, I put some math on here, one-fourth y to make it into twelfths, you multiply by three to get three twelfths. One-sixth y, you would multiply both numerator and denominator by two to get two twelfths, and our three dark orange twelfths plus my two light orange twelfths gives me a total of five twelfths y. So one fourth y plus one sixth y equals five twelfths y. Got to get a common denominator here. So we're going to have to pay attention to two things now. Do we have like terms? Is my variable to the same power? Is it the same variable to the same power? And now we've got to get common denominators on our fractional coefficients. Another example on page 137, and you do not have to copy this, just follow along with me. Follow along, and you can see that in this example, um, we have an x plus 3 fourths x. Well, x is 1x, and I would write that 1x as 4 fourths, because 1 does equal four fourths because my denominator of my other like term is fourths. So you can see in the dark orange they have 
1, 2, 3, 4 fourths x plus my light orange, 1, 2, 3, 3 fourths x gives me a total of 4 fourths plus 3 fourths. This is all x divided into fourths. We get 7 fourths x. And again, from our note from last time, we're going to leave that rational coefficient as the ratio of 7 fourths x. Number five, half of p plus two-fifths p. The common denominator, the least common denominator of one-half and two-fifths is 10. So my p, my bar, is divided into 10 equal sections. Now let's figure out what sections go with one-half. One-half p is the same thing as five-tenths p making it equal fraction. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This represents my 5 out of 10 parts that are dark orange. And my 2 fifths P equals 4 tenths P, which gives me 9 tenths P total. So my light orange, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, Four out of ten of them are light orange. That represents my two-fifths, four-tenths P. And five-tenths P plus four-tenths P does equal nine-tenths P. Now we're going to try a few on your own. And you might recognize number one, one-half A and two-fifths A. We just did that example, only it had the letter P on it. So I know that you know that this answer, because we can make this into 5 tenths P, because we just did this one, and 4 tenths P, which gives me 9 tenths P. Please copy number 2 and 3 into your spirals now, and see if you can get their common denominator first, and then add your like terms. Because yes, in number 2 we have R and R, so R to the first power, R to the first power, they are like terms. We can combine those. So we've got to get a common denominator with thirds and fourths. And then in number three, yes, that is a whole Y plus five sixths Y. Do these in your spiral notebooks now, and I will uh, set the video on pause, work them out. I'll give you the answers in just a moment. Well, hopefully you got the answers 11 twelfths R and 11 sixths Y. Put a star next to either one of these if you didn't get these answers or if you're not sure how I'm getting to the 11 twelfths and the 11 sixths. If you have a question on those, um, come back tomorrow and, and make sure that you ask me. Another example here. As long as they are like terms, you can just combine those fractions. So I happen to have common denominators here, 1 fifth A and 3 fifths A. Well, they have a common denominator. I get 4 fifths A. 1 half M plus 1 fourth M. They are like terms. I can add them together. 1 half and 1 fourth. I'm going to make this into 2 fourths. 2 fourths is 1 half. 2 fourths M plus another 1 fourth M gives me 3 fourths M. And the last one, number 3, 3 fourths of Y and that whole Y, easiest to make this into 4 fourths, 4 fourths, which equals 1 Y. 4 fourths is 1. 4 fourths Y plus 3 fourths Y gives me 7 fourths Y. And last thing for today, Sammy Cohen simplified, simplified, simplified this algebraic expression. 2 thirds x plus 1 fourth x as shown below. 2 thirds x plus 1 fourth x equals 3 sevenths x. Well, Sammy made a mistake there. So what I would like you to do is copy this example into your spiral notebook, just as it is here, exactly as it is, and then Describe and correct, so get the right answer because this is not correct. Describe and correct the error that Sammy made. 
first thing tomorrow, we're going to go over that one first. So copy that into your spirals and correct it, please.